Hi guys! As a mom of two young boys, I deal with a lot of boo-boos. I just fell off my bike. And while I always used Neosporin growing up, Lincoln Skin actually had a little reaction to it. So I did some research and ended up trying out some different homemade alternatives. And today I'm going to show you my favorite recipe for a simple, all natural, and super effective healing ointment. Here's what you'll need to get started. Coconut oil, beeswax, comfrey oil, calendula oil, witch hazel, and lavender essential oil. First, we're going to add a half a cup of coconut oil. This is great to use in skincare products because it's an excellent moisturizer. It's also naturally antibacterial and antifungal, so it's great for this recipe. And then a quarter cup of beeswax, which creates a natural barrier against the skin and will give it an ointment-like consistency. And pop it in the microwave for about a minute and a half or until the beeswax is completely melted. Next, we're going to add our comfrey and calendula oils. You might not be familiar with these, but they're both known for their powerful healing properties and work really well together. You can also get these in dry leaf form and infuse them, but I found it much easier to just order the oils. And even though essential oils are natural, they're still really potent, so remember to use caution when working with them because everyone's skin reacts differently. We're gonna add 15 to 30 drops of lavender essential oil and two teaspoons of witch hazel, which is a natural astringent and great for cleaning out wounds. And then give everything a good stir until there's no lumps and it has a creamy texture. I heated mine back up to a liquid form so that I can pour it in these reusable lip gloss containers. And ta-da! I think it looks so cute in this little tube and you can see that it solidifies into an ointment really quickly. This ointment is perfect for minor burns, cuts, scrapes, dry chapped skin, and even eczema. I need some more ointment on my boo-boo. It's all natural, it goes on super smooth, and even smells really good. Feels all better. You can also store it in a small jar or container, but I really love these tubes because they're super practical and prevent contamination. And you can even add a sticker label to customize or personalize them. All right, guys, I hope you'll give this a try. Tell me in the comments below if there's any other DIY remedies you'd like to see, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye, Bye guys! guys.